and we are live on the Spirit of Wrestling 2. I am your host, Danny Jackpot. Probably bringing to you eight matches here on the Spirit of Wrestling Live, the greatest cause show on twitch.tv slash Danny Jackpot, C-A-W, the greatest cause show on youtube.com slash D Jack Extras. That is D Jack Extras. As the Brick House, Chris Snyder makes his way down the ring for this North American Championship match, undisputed North American Championship match between himself who and Monster Messiah Robert Master Monaco. The Monster Messiah versus the Brick House, Chris Snyder, Monster Messiah. These two had a feud that was so brutal. A rivalry that was so brutal that Mexico had to ban these two the men from the country. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And is for the NWO Alliance Championship. Making his way to the ring from Birmingham, Alabama. Weighing in at 305 pounds, Chris Snyder. Chris Snyder making his first appearance here in Undisputed Wrestling. One of many men who will make their first appearances alive. Here we got four championship matches. We're going to crown three new champions. The first happening right now. We're going to crown new tag team champions. We're going to crown a new world heavyweight champion. We got Kyle Tyler King defending his newly won live championship against Nate Farron. All that and more here tonight on this Beauty Wrestling 2. Chris Snyder in the ring, the Brick House, getting ready to take on Monster Messiah, Robert Master Monaco. Only one of these two men can be crowned the very first ever Undisputed Wrestling Live North American Champion. And these two men are definitely worthy of that title. But only one man will be able to claim himself as that first ever Undisputed Wrestling Live North American Champion. As Chris Snyder's opponent makes his way down the ring, Monster Messiah, a man who is very well respected in CAW. Years and years of accomplishments behind this man. He's a former North American Elite Wrestling Brutality Champion. He's a former North American Elite Wrestling Maple Leaf Champion. He was the last ever. This man has been in the main event of RWF Mania. Another promotion, Robert Master Monaco. Monster Messiah makes his way down the ring for the North American Championship match that he has been clawing so hard to be here for. And this monster claws, he fights, he does whatever he needs to to get what to get the job done. And Chris Snyder, the brick house, is very familiar with this man. Monster Messiah making his way down the ring. Chris Snyder in the ring. Monster Messiah in no rush to start this North American Championship match. Gonna do it at his pace. Monster Messiah defeated Evan Bourne for the Maple Leaf Championship in North American League Wrestling last. So that would make Monster Messiah have a very credible win streak going lately. Monster Messiah is also the current reigning CXWI internet champion. All-star champion, I mean, I'm sure I screwed up that name. <laughs> no notes here, I'm going off, just off the memory here. Live here on Twitch, Monster Messiah, Chris Snyder. Championship, the Undisputed Wrestling Live North American Championship about to be crowned. 
Look at that North American Championship. Very beautiful. Look at that title. Very, very beautiful. Only one of these two men can be the very first ever North American Champion. And the bell has won. Chris Snyder, Monster Messiah. This match is officially started for the North American Championship on the Spear Wrestling 2. Monster Messiah was able to nail a neck breaker right away, but Snyder back up to his feet, nails a DDT. Don't forget, main event tonight, Joe Omega, Extreme Tony. Undisputed Championship match. We're going to see Death and Glory. A brave and death, but El Moveno and, and Billy Bowers team to take on Jam Session. Jared Forsyth and Gideon Pilgrim later. Tag Team Championship match. When Marcus Matrix and Dale Von Deuce take on Amir Barnes and Silver Prince and Jip to go. Winning team will become the first ever undisputed tag team champions. Monster Messiah nails Snake Eyes on the Chris Snyder. North American Championship on the line right here. We got a cover. I believe all, oh, but Snyder immediately kicks out. I don't think Monster, I don't think Messiah had the best cover there. Snyder was trying to fight his way up already before Messiah even had the cover, I believe. Monster Messiah now with a huge backbreaker on the Chris Snyder. And I would say right now, Monster Messiah has definitely been owning this matchup against Chris Snyder here on the Spirit Wrestling 2 North American Championship. Messiah nails a boot on the Snyder. He's center, he's down on the ground. And Messiah, Robert Master Monaco, knows the position he has Snyder in right now, and it's a bad one. Robert Master Monaco now went for the Irish whip, nailed it, but Snyder off the off the rebound catches a kick and then just spine busters the huge monster down the ring mat a backbreaker of his own now the brick house monster messiah rolls out of the ring actually he charges right back in him and s snyder catches him with a back suplex the action here is thrilling north american championship for honest Beauty wrestling the very first ever Champion gonna be crowned in this great matchup between these two phenomenal athletes. Two giant behemoths. North American Championship. What's Chris Snyder got planned? Snyder now vertical suplex position. Nails it on Monster Messiah. And Snyder now has this match rolling in his way. Monster Messiah in the corner there. And Snyder not giving him any room to breathe. Choking him out even right there with that huge knee of his. And I don't know if you see Snyder in shorts, but that man has some muscular legs. Got to sound weird. Snyder with another big suplex right there on the monster Messiah. Messiah is getting picked up by Schneider now. Schneider. Oh, and a huge rim breaker. Schneider got planned here. Messiah's in a bad way. And it's a Dragon Sleeper, Monster Messiah could tap out right here, a Dragon Sleeper, but Messiah trying to fight it off, does, with three huge shots to the temple, and Snyder with the shades of the Undertaker with that diving clothesline, that running diving clothesline, Monster Messiah though now with a couple running clothesline of his own, Irish whip now, Monster Messiah splashes into Snyder, oh, and a huge running crossbody, and Snyder's back up to his feet immediately, what a
the very first one coming onto the ring is your friendly superhero Incognito. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Main Street, USA. Weighing in at 210 pounds, the super athlete. Incognito is a former ITF television champion. He's a former ITF tag team champion. Incognito hasn't really had a chance to shine in the CAW world. He is now here in Undisputed Wrestling. And Incognito is here to make an impact. He is here to save the day, he says, here in Undisputed Wrestling. Incognito making his first ever appearance for Undisputed Wrestling here tonight. And yes, if you need a hero, Incognito is here to do that for you. Incognito is going to have a hell of a challenge tonight. Incognito only weighs in at 195 pounds. He's going to be taking on Vincent Nicolo. Vincent Nicolo is a bigger athlete. Incognito in the ring. And he's taking on a man that he has never met in one-on-one -on -one action before. Vincent Nicolo making his way down the ring. And his opponent from Brooklyn, New York, weighing in at 295 pounds, Vincent Nicole. Now I can tell you a little bit about this superstar that I know. This man has his own training camp. Pranvera Bagali actually trained at this man's training camp. And we've seen what Pranvera Bagali can do in the ring last week. This man making his first ever appearance, Vincent Nicolo, tonight. And Vincent Nicolo has promised a win. But then again, what athlete doesn't promise a win? I hope that you think and you tell you're promising yourself a win when you enter this ring. Vincent Nicolo, Incognito, the second match here on his future wrestling too. And I do agree, those nameplates are blinding. I wish I could fix it. I tried. 2K20 sucks. That's for the chat. If any of y'all are wondering on YouTube what's going on, twitch.tv slash dannyjackpotcaw to watch all the action live when it's taking place live instead of the edited version on YouTube. Incognito, Vincent Nicole, one on one here on Disputed Wrestling. And a nice go behind by Incognito. I'm expecting a little bit of different action in the first match that we've seen, that very first match we've seen, those two hosses, Monster Messiah, Chris Snyder, just going full force in the entire eight, nine minutes those men were wrestling until we had a new North American champion crowned. Once again, Monster Messiah, Robert Mastermind, go congratulations there. Incognito missed a kit. Vincent Akello going to make him pay, it looks like. And no, Incognito actually blocks an elbow shot. Running clothesline, Incognito right now. Has the advantage. Superhero incognito against maybe an evil villain in Vincent Nicolo. And I'm not trying to label Vincent as anything, but I'm just saying if you want to look at it like that, because I'm sure incognito in his mind is looking at it like that. Oh, a nice, nice thrusting kick right there by Vincent. And you gotta give a man of that size some credit for having that kind of kind of that kind of flexibility right there. And now the power of Vincent Nicolo against Incognito being shown, but no, Incognito able to get behind him with a nice chop block. And I'm sure both these men are looking for a win here. It could put them in contention for the live championship. Vincent Nicolo now, Irish whip. Someone called that an American whip. Oh, both men delivering elbows to each other. Incognito gets the better of this one. Incognito's got some pointy elbows. Not wearing pads either, that could be why. Vincent Nicole though, maybe was just playing a little bit of possum in the corner right there. Threw Incognito in, but Incognito able to reverse. Big kick of his own, roundhouse kick by Incognito, knocks down Vincent Nicolo. Incognito now, nice forearm, and what a forearm rocks. Vincent, Vincent actually has to roll out of the ring. And Incognito nails one hell of a forearm. These two men on the outside of the ring now. Referee's count going to start. As Vincent Nicolo may have drawn, might have actually drew him to the outside of the ring. Tosses Incognito to the steel steps after assaulting him. And I 
want to thank you all for being here in the chat. Let's not forget the post predictions. Let's talk about Undisputed Wrestling. Let's share it with your friends. If you know anyone that you're talking to that's not watching this event, let them know that you're watching this event and they should be watching this event. One of the hottest commodities in call right now, Undisputed Wrestling. And this count is at seven and Vincent Nicole is dominating incognito on the outside of the ring. Referee's count. It's getting up there at eight. Vincent Nicola might win this match. I count out. I think he's satisfied by winning this match by count out. No, he isn't. He actually rolls out of the ring and delivers more punishment to Incognito. And I gotta give Vincent credit. Vincent kind of won this match by count out right there and instead went right back to the outside because he wants to show these honest viewer wrestling fans what he's all about. And oh my god, trying to toss Incognito this to the steel steps a third time, but it doesn't work. Incognito has to reverse. Oh, but this time he gets tossed right back into the steps. Incognito's ribs gotta be killing him. He has ate those steel steps not once, not twice, but three times here tonight already. And Vincent Nicolo now picks it back up and he chops it. Both men getting back in the ring now. And Incognito, oh, running team on as he gets back in the ring. Vincent Nicolo wasn't seeing that coming. He wasn't seeing that coming, that forearm now by Incognito. Incognito running knee, that running knee to, to Vincent. Vincent is down, Incognito has him in a bad way here. Another knee to the face. Vincent now has taken two big knees to the face. One to the skull, one to the face I would say. And now Incognito, oh, just raking at the face of Vincent. Goes for a, went for a roundhouse, missed it. Vincent able to go for an arm ringer, but gets reversed. Incognito has now something planned in the corner. I don't know what. And he's going for a big move here. Oh, springboard crossbody by Incognito. Knocks down Vincent Nicolo. Oh, and a big elbow right to the top of the forehead. Incognito has Vincent right where he wants him. No, actually Vincent able to reverse the shot. Vincent now, Irish whip, Incognito down. I'd like to thank you all for being here live on Twitch.
Gail Anderson just made her way down to the ring. As Gail Anderson, Alexander Marie, and these two from ladies, New York, Gail Anderson, Sarah Barbos. Sasha Blackrose making her way down to the ring. We've seen Sasha Blackrose and Alexander Marie last week on the same team against one of the ladies coming down next, we Spring Tigress. Gail Anderson making her first ever appearance in Undisputed Wrestling tonight. So she'll actually be the only lady in this contest tonight that's actually making her debut in Undisputed Wrestling. We've seen Sasha Black Rose and Alexandria Marie successful by count out nonetheless last week in a six man tag team matchup. Every lady for a contest and for herself tonight in this fatal four way contest. Gail Anderson also learned from Monster Messiah, the man we've seen win the North American Championship earlier in the Messiah Dungeon. So don't forget, a lot of guys like Vincent and McCall from has, Albuquerque, has New Mexico. camp. You got Monster Messiah who has the dungeon. Teddy. Spring Tiger is coming out alone tonight, not with her usual partner and some would say owner, Lilith, as she is Lilith's pet. And that's all I'm going to describe it there, as she is Lilith's pet. Spring Tigress making her way down the ring, or in the ring now, I should say, for this Fatal 4-Way contest. I didn't see Lilith backstage tonight, so I believe Lilith is not here, or she probably would be here with her pet. Maybe uh, someone's, you know, dog watching, lion watching, tiger watching. I don't know what you want to say, everybody. Fatal 4-Way, Undisputed Wrestling, women's matchup, starting off, Bell's about to be and if you need me to explain to you once again, if you are just tuning in now, Alexandra Marie is the blonde woman in the red and the black. Gail Anderson, the woman in the red and the black with the green streak in her hair. Sasha Black Rose wearing the yellow and blue. Spring Tigress wearing the mask. Fatal four-way action. One fall to a finish. No disqualification, no countouts. There must be a winner in this fatal four-way. And you can actually say that this is almost the very first ever singles match for these for Honest Food Wrestling's women. Even if it's a fatal four-way, there has yet to be a matchup that's not a tag match until right now. So these four ladies kind of getting the first honor to win the to be the first ever, first ever woman to win a singles matchup, or win a match by herself here in Honest Food Wrestling, here at Honest Food Wrestling 2, the second ever show, the hottest commodity in call. We got Gail Anderson and Spring Tigers in the ring. With a sleeper hold by Gail Anderson, a Spring Tigress. If Spring Tigress passes out here, then we're gonna, Gail Anderson will win this match, I imagine, for putting her opponent to sleep. Sasha Black Rose breaks it up, though. All four ladies back in the ring now. Actually, as soon as I say that, Gail Anderson tosses Spring Tigress out like a sack of potatoes. Like she's nothing, but there's a cover going on right now, and oh, only gets one. Spring Tigress. Down on the ground, being picked up by Gail Anderson, while Alexandria Marie and Sasha Black Rose in the ring right now. And Alexandria Marie, going for a suplex, nails it as Gail Anderson gets reversed on the outside of the ring. Spring Tigers now tosses her right into that ring post. And I guess that yellow and black caution tape didn't make Gail, Gail Anderson watch out right there. And I know the. I definitely know the Monster Dungeon's looking to get two wins here tonight. Spring Tigers gets back in the ring. Nice kick to Alexander Marie. And a second nice kick. Standing shooting star by Spring Tigers. Definitely knocking Alexander Marie down, but picks her back up for whatever reason. I would have pinned her after a serious moves like that. And Sasha Black Rose now. Oh my god, has this Kohina clutch applied to Alexander Marie. I don't believe any of the other ladies are paying attention. Kohina Clutch is applied. Alexandra Marie is trying to fight out of it. She actually rolls herself out of it. A very nice reversal by Alexandra Marie. That's why she's a former woman's champion in other places. Gail Anderson, though, picking up Sasha Black Rose. Sasha Black Rose now on her knees, and Gail Anderson's trying to pull that arm right out of the socket, that shoulder right out of the socket. Sleeper hole applied by Gale. On to Alexandra Marie. Alexandra Marie must not have much oxygen left in her. She has been getting choked out by these women. And maybe Gale Anderson and Alexandra Marie a little mad at each other. Hey, I'm supposed to be wearing the red and black. No, I'm supposed to be wearing the red and black. 
And Sasha Black Rose doesn't care what color you're wearing. She just sees a woman and nails her with a devastating maneuver. Spring Tigress slips back in the ring though. Oh my God, a 720 Hurricane Rana. Lake Scissors actually, that was a Lake Scissors. A 720 Lake Scissors. Gail Anderson was trying to go for a cover on Alexander Marie, but Alexander Marie was able to kick out on just a one. Spring Tigress got some momentum, rolled to the outside of the ring. Gail Anderson with a nice Hurricane Rana that time. It wasn't Hurricane Rana. On Alexander Marie inside the ring. Has a hammerlock applied with her knee. Going for some kind of other maneuver with her other foot now. Has one arm tied up and a hammer. Oh my God! Alexander Marie's got to be hurting after that one. Both her arms. Gail Anderson now looking for a Fisherman Buster DDT with the bridge. One, two, three. And Gail Anderson, Sasha. Sasha Black Rose couldn't break it up in time. Gail Anderson victorious here in her debut. Gail, Gail Anderson, the Monster Dungeon, picking up two big wins here tonight. Like brother, like sister, Monster Messiah wins, Gail Anderson wins. Fisherman Buster DDT with a bridge. Gail Anderson picks up the win. And I'm sure her brother, Monster Messiah, her trainer, is very proud. Gail Anderson with a hard fought victory here in this fatal four way. We continue on, Undisputed Wrestling 2, the very first ever makes tag team match here in Undisputed Wrestling about the to take place. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Denver, Colorado, Denise. Denise Parkinson, Nick Gemini, the, co the power couple here in North American Elite Wrestling. We seen Nick Gemini last week in a losing effort against Biff Andreas in the live championship tournament. Him and Denise Parkinson have promised a victory here tonight. And a little bit of a, uh, just, just a little bit to make Nick feel better, Denise said. She, she did a lot of that last week, but she knows a big win this week will make him feel really good tonight. As here comes Nick Gemini, a man who wears a mask some one week and doesn't the next. He is the MILF hunter. Nick Gemini, and the anime character from come to life every man's nightmare. Weighing in at 200 pounds. Every married man's nightmare. He is the MILF hunter. He is every baby daddy's nightmare. He is Nick Gemini. Nick Gemini, Denise Parkinson, the power couple here. Surprised they didn't come out together. Bill Hunter, Nick Gemini, these Parkinson teaming up to take on Cage and Monica Scar. And from New York, Montana, Sawyer. As Monica Scar makes her Undisputed Wrestling debut, I know this woman as a skater also skates in her free time. As I, as I would not let Monica Scar get near Nick Gemini, some people bring up the fact that Nick Gemini is a, he's a ladies man, ha <laughs> ha! That man's out of control. As Monica Scar makes her first ever appearance in Undisputed Wrestling, and she looks very proud to be here. Had some terrible accidents happen, obviously, and that's where she picked up the name, Monica Scar. She says it's the nickname she's had since she was in high school. Monica Scar. I imagine that, that 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 wasn't a very nice nickname when kids were saying that. But she'll be teaming up with a man. We also seen the live championship tournament lose in the very first round last week. Cage, and this man and is a legend. From and your darkest fears, weighing in at 345 pounds, Candy Man. As I was saying, Cage, a legend in CAW, a former New WWE United States Champion, a former New WWE Tag Team Champion, Cage has wrestled all over the cost spectrum. He has been around 
for over two decades. Cage has actually wrestled in three different decades, considering 2009, 2000, the, 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 the 2000s, the 2010s, and now the 2020s. Cage has been around a CAW ring for a very, very long time. Even if you did take a couple years off, Cage is back. As Cage, unsuccessful last week against Sean Dynasty in the live championship tournament. Nick Gemini got knocked off against Biff Andreas in the live championship tournament. First time we're seeing Monica Scar and Denise Parkinson in action here in Undisputed Wrestling. And these two ladies will actually start the contest. Very first ever makes tag team match here in Undisputed Wrestling. The bell has rung. And Monica Scar bringing the fight right to Denise Parkinson right away. Oh my god, look at the fight! Oh, Monica Scar bringing the fight to Denise Parkinson. And Denise Parkinson, though, catches it off. And oh, tries this running crossbody, but totally misses. And I don't know what Denise was going for there. And Monica Scar, this, this brawling like offense of Monica Scar, she seems to be in the advantage right away, but no. I, I say that, she gets tossed right out of the ring. And oh, and this lands right on her face. And I think that was intentional by Denise Parkinson. Referee's count starting here on the outside of the ring as these two ladies are actually falling on the outside of the ring. And I swear, it's hard to keep these ladies in the ring in an undisputed wrestling match. I think it's the third time we've seen a women's match here, and these women are just hard to be contained. And oh, as, as, as Nick Gemini is being told to stay on the ring apron, you cannot get involved. Referee's count also continuing. Maya Scar eats the ring steps. Makes tag team action here on the Street of Wrestling 2. These parties in Nick Gemini, Monica Scar, and Cage. Spiral leg drop by Denise Parkinson. Referee's count is at eight. Referee's count is at nine. These two ladies are still on the outside of the ring. And wait a second, you're kidding me. You're kidding me, Monica Scar can't get back in the ring in time. She referee tries to get to these parties in Nick Gemini some time. And that we're being told, we're being told that we're gonna restart this match. Here are your winners. And I think that's the right move. I think that's the right move. I think nobody wants to see this. I think that's the right move. I don't think these two have been told the match is about to be restarted. The match is about to restart here, I'm being told. As here we go, this match is officially underway. Monica Scar, Denise Parkinson. Hopefully these ladies will be able to contain it inside the ring. Suplex by Denise Parkinson. And she is not happy. Goes for a cover now. Referee down. Oh, but Monica Scar able to kick out right away. Denise Parkinson delivering some elbows to Monica Scar. Monica Scar down. Denise Parkinson has her right where she wants her. Actually picks her up. And just to drop her right back down with a bulldog. Oh, and that was like face first. That had to be intentional by, by Denise Parkinson. It seems to be going out to the skin. The scar's on Monica Scar's face. Monica Scar though fighting back. Luthas pressed by Monica Scar. And oh my god, this hair whipping. Denise Parkinson picking her up and dropping her right down to the ring mat. Parkinson now nails a spine buster set out. Tags in Nick Gemini, which will automatically mean Cage will get the tag. But come in the ring, and he does. No tag needed between Monica and Cage. Cage nailing up big, a thrusting uppercut to Nick Gemini. Cage and Nick Gemini now the two legal men. Big size difference here between the two. Almost a foot and a half size difference between Nick Gemini and Cage. Seven foot two, five foot 10, I believe, five foot 11. I don't sit there with a tape measure in my pocket and, and measure Nick Gemini's height. Oh my God, and you can see the size difference really taking play here as Cage is dominating Nick Gemini here in this contest. This makes tag team action. And I don't know if these parties should have made the back. Oh, but Nick Gemini dropped toe hold. That was smart, very smart. Nick Gemini wrestled a very smart Match. Oh my god! What a move! What a move right there! That sunset flip bomb. Denise 
Hawkinson, Alexander Marie. Now the two legal, legal ladies in this matchup. Collar and elbow tie up. Goes for a hammerlock. He got reversed. Magascar now just got nailed with a suplex. Denise Parkinson needs to have her right where she wants her. And what's Denise Parkinson got planned here? Picks her up for some kind of powerbomb. Off the ropes! Springboard set up! Powerbomb by Denise Parkinson. That was impressive. Monica Scar in her very first match up here in Undisputed Wrestling. So is Denise Parkinson. And oh, booty shaking. Moonsault. That's one of her special moves. Well, and I'm sure Nick Drew and I like to watch that. And oh, only got a two count. I thought that was it. Monica Scar kicks out. And actually gets to her feet first because these parties are easy to play in about the two. Monica Scar now fighting what kind of has her in the corner that she would want her in if this was a lit normal tag team matchup. Cage cannot get involved here. Super face buster trying to arrange the face. The face arrangement on the Denise Parkinson. Monica Scar now goes at the face plan, obviously. And Denise Parkinson able to reverse whatever Monica Scar had planned. Denise Parkinson on his whip. Nick Jeremy. Oh, wait a second. Oh, oh my god. Wow. Cage tries to get in the ring and Nick Jeremy cut him right off. And what are these two got planned here? Oh my god. Tag team in security. Nick Jeremy cover on the cage. Cover on the cage. Cover on the cage. It only gets one. Oh my god. Can't keep the big man down. And that was a very cool move. I want to give Nick Jeremy and Alexander. During that move, that was very cool to watch. Can't take that away from those two men, from, from those two athletes. Big Gemini now has changed down, and that's that's, that's very impressive. That oh, Gemini though can change. And a spear by Nick Gemini, a spear, a spear knocks down Cage. One, two, three, and Nick Gemini to these parts that pick up a huge win. What a spear by Gemini to knock down Cage in this fake tag team matchup. As you see the booty pop and moonsault. The boot by Cage. The replays. Here are your winners. As Nick Gemini and Denise Parkinson pick up a huge win in this tag team matchup. As we continue on, on Disputed Wrestling Live Championship match, Tyler King in defending against Nate Farron, and what a mixed tag team match we've just seen. Nate Farron, a former Wrestling Heaven, World, Wrestling Heaven World Heavyweight Champion, a former NAEW Heavyweight Champion, taking on Tyler King, a former New NAEW Heavyweight Champion, a former WDF NXT Tag Team Champion. This match is between two great friends. Nate Farron, the genuine ass ticker, taking on Tyler King, the Majestic. As Nate Farron makes his way down the ring, Nate Farron suffered a tragic loss to a man that we're about to see compete later tonight. Marcus Matrix last week, when Marcus Matrix pulled the tights, got Nate Dale Von Deuce distracted Nate Farron. It was one of the dirtiest wins I've ever seen in any wrestling contest I've ever watched. Nate Farron got robbed last week. Still getting a chance to shine here in Undisputed Wrestling. The man has earned a live championship shot just by being a former World Heavyweight Champion on two different occasions. And a man just recently is a former World Champion this year. Nate Farron, Tyler King, two good friends. Squaring off one on one for the live championship. I'm sure these men are going to have a hard time following up that makes tag team classic we have just seen. As we are seeing Tyler King make his way down the ring, the very first ever champion in Undisputed Wrestling, and he is Tyler King. He had won an eight man tournament, and Undisputed Wrestling won Tyler King. The live champion, this man defeated Connor Dynasty, C Connor James. He had also defeated Sean Dynasty. He had also defeated 
Lamarcus Carter all in one night to become the live champion. And you can see Nate Farron respects his good friend Tyler King, gives him the full squared circle to make his entrance. Nate Farron, Tyler King, live championship on the line, on the screen of wrestling, a match that both these men had requested. A match they believe will steal the show, and I believe it will too. I am so happy to be commentating this one. Tyler King, the uh, live champion here in Undisputed Wrestling. As Nate Farron being introduced to the fans. As Tyler King, a man who just recently made his CAW return. A man who was forced to vacate the WDF NXT Tag Team Championship due to personal reasons. A man who left CAW due to those personal reasons. Tyler King, now back and on top of the CAW world as a live champion here in Honest Beauty Wrestling. This man has not lost a step. And hey, look, it's referee the Todd. The Todd here calling this match here in Honest Beauty Wrestling. Nate Farron, Tyler King, this one's gonna be a classic, guys. Bell is wrong. Tyler King giving up a height and weight advantage against Nate Farron. Nate Farron, the genuine ass kicker. He knows that Tyler King will not rob him of a victory or, or a match like Marcus Matrix and Dale Von Deuce did last week. But that's the kind of threat that Marcus Matrix and Dale Von Deuce are. And they can be the Undisputed Tag Team Champions tonight. They can, they, can, they can knock off a guy like Nate Farron in one-on-one -on -one action as a team. Nate Farron has Tyler King down. But Tyler King fights his way back up to his feet, but Nate Farron with a big elbow. And oh, an arm drag right there. Tyler King knocks Nate Farron right back down. Now working over the arm is Tyler King. Tyler King very smart. Tyler King now stomping on Nate Farron's chest. Tyler King. Picks up Nate Farron. Tyler King. Oh! Gets reversed by Nate Farron. Nate Farron nails a six foot nine jawbreaker. And Tyler King says, Whatever you can do, I can do better, buddy. Oh, and Tyler King knocks Nate Farron right back down on the ring. Matlet, a couple punches and strikes. Tyler King has a big six foot nine Nate Farron down, and they're all men of the same size when they're on, the, when they're on their back or on their stomach. Tyler King. I, I wouldn't have picked up Nate Farron right there. I would have kept him down because look what happened. Nate Farron now able to reverse. Nate Farron has Tyler King down. Nate Farron now stomping away on Tyler King. Live championship match. Nate Farron knows what kind of opportunity this is for him. Would like to impress the fans. Would like to also just come back with a huge championship win after last week's debut of Honest Beauty Wrestling. Tyler King was a lot more victorious in his debut when picking up three big, big victories. The most winning superstar in Honest Beauty Wrestling right now is Tyler King. Count by Tyler King after a clothesline only gets two. Referee the Todd says oh, two. Tyler King doesn't argue it. Delivers an elbow to Nate Barron. That was very smart. This time keeping Nate Barron down on the ring mat. Nate, Tyler King I think learned less than the first time. Oh, actually trying to pull a hamstring. Very smart at Tyler King. As Tyler King nails the King's plunge, and I know I'm so happy to see Tyler King back around. He's a good friend of mine. We got a cover by Tyler King. Oh, that was almost it. I'm so glad to see Tyler King back around because of great moves like that. He's a great guy to have around. Always been a great guy. Tyler King's always been a, a hell of an athlete. Tyler King looking to crown Nate Farron here. Live championship match. Crowns him. Crowns him. Tyler King. Looking to cover now on Farron. Farron down. And Farron gets a shoulder up. And Tyler King can't believe it this time. Tyler King even just crowned Nate Farron. And Nate Farron kicked out of Tyler King's two best moves. And Nate Farron now with a back body drop. He's actually fighting Tyler King back in this contest. Farron drops him down, drops the snap here. That's a big snap here. What's Nate Farron got planned here? Oh, big four. And going for his accordion rack. Backbreaker! Knocks down Tyler King. Nate Farron nails one of his big signature maneuvers. Got covered by Nate Farron. He's going to be a new life champion. And oh! Now, and Nate Farron now in a 
Yes, Matt Barron goes for a headlock. Trying to get a little bit of a rest here in this matchup. Both these men kicking out of big moves. Getting nailed with big moves. Tyler King, Nate Barron have the respect for each other. And you can see this leverage to Tyler King keeping Nate Barron on the ring mat. Nate Barron is trying to fight out of it. He finally does. Nate Barron now actually with a headlock of his own on the Tyler King. But Tyler King able to fight out of it. Tyler King now. He's got plan. Arm ringer. That was in the back of the arm. Tyler King doing what he can to work over the 6'9", Nate Barron. Tyler King. Oh, that's one of the... Uh, got, oh, I believe he's working on Nate Barron's arm, which is very smart. Nate Barron likes to utilize that choke slam. Oh, face washing now. A little disrespect by Tyler King. I think Tyler King now showing Nate Barron that he's a live champion. They're on the King's blood once again. Tyler King covering Nate Barron. One, two, three. Nate Barron once again takes out of a second King's blood. Tyler King can't believe it. Both these men on their feet. Todd, Nate Barron though picking up King. King able to reverse. Russian leg sweep. Russian leg sweep. Tyler King says he's going to crown him. He's looking for that majestic King crown of his. If he nails Nate Barron a second time with it, he's going to crown Nate Barron for a second time here tonight. Todd King, the live champion, crown Nate Barron for the second time here tonight. Looking to pick up a huge win on Honest Beer Wrestling 2. Tyler King is victorious and retains the live championship tonight. And what a win. What a win by Tyler King against his good friend Nate Barron. Fans are on their feet around me as we go over these replays. One King's plunge wasn't enough. One crowning wasn't enough. It took two crownings by Tyler King. As the first crowning wasn't enough, here in the replays we go back, the second crowning by Tyler King onto his good friend Nate Barron. And that's enough to hold the former AEW and the former NAEW, former Wrestling Heaven World, Wrestling Heaven World Heavyweight Champion down. Tyler King victorious here on his feet of wrestling too. Still the Honest Reader Wrestling Live Champion who will expect him to defend that belt at UW3. Tyler King victorious tonight. Honest Reader Wrestling Live tag team matchup. We're about to see for the first time teaming up in I believe four or five years to return to CAW of Jer Forsyth, the man making his way down the ring right now, Gideon Pilgrim, the jam session. is a former ITF television champion, a former ITF tag team champion with Gideon Pilgrim as a member of the jam session. These two men took time off to start a band, Gideon Pilgrim and Jared Forsyth. They actually left the CAW world to do exactly what they advertised themselves as, a jam session. They went on, they had a small indie band they, they toured around the country and they are back wrestling live here because they have the itch. Dear Foresight, Gideon Pilgrim, the jam session. These two men normally would make an entrance together, I believe, making their own separate entrances and nights so the fans can get a look at these two men because they are back. Dear Foresight, Gideon Pilgrim, the jam session. And these two guys, they don't know how to rock, they don't know how to wrestle. I swear, I am pumped to see the jam session back in a wrestling ring. It's been far too long. These guys were meant to sign with OPW, but eventually decided that their music career was a lot more important because, man, they only got one shot at being great. And they decided they had they, they took their shot there, and now they got another shot at being great inside a wrestling ring. These two men are Gideon Pilgrim, the former ITF World Heavyweight Champion. Gideon Pilgrim, a former World Heavyweight Champion in ITF, a former Tag Team Champion with Jared Forsyth. And I don't know if you guys can tell, I'm excited for these two men to be here in Honest Peter Wrestling. But they are about to take on a hell of a tag team in El Novano and Billy Bowers, Brave and Death. El 
Bono Vero on the left. Billy Bowers on the right. The Pain Master. Two best friends. Just like Jared Forsyth and Gideon Pilgrim. These two men are former tag team champions. Also, North American Elite Wrestling United States tag team champions to be exact. Don't forget, a former Ska Hardcore Champion is El Noveno. The only original superstar to ever be signed, the superstars of Ka, is El Noveno. A very famous CAW League. Billy Bowers on his knees, sliding into the ring. The Pain Master, El Noveno with the mask. These two men, they weren't victorious last week against Egyptico but they would like to bounce back in the tag team division. And they said that the jam session, well, maybe they should have stayed away from the wrestling world. And I, maybe, maybe COVID cut down the uh, jam sessions, Tori. That's a, that's a good point. And maybe these men spent the last few weeks, months training to get back in the wrestling ring. But Billy Bowers takes down Jared Forsyth right away in this matchup. And I'm sure Billy Bowers would like the kind of music that that the jam session would actually play. That hard rock kind of music, that, that, that death metal kind of music they kind of play. Indian Deathlock, speaking of death, by Billy Bowers on the Jared Forsyth. Jared Forsyth is able to fight out of it. Former ITF television champion, it's been a long time since we've seen Jared Forsyth in the ring. Looks like he hasn't picked up any wrestling gears since the last time we've seen him. They, that, that's Jared Forsyth for you. He's a, he's a rocker and a wrestler. He's a wrestler turned rock. He's not a wrestling rocker. He's a rocking wrestler. Gideon Pilgrim gets the tag. Gideon Pilgrim, a former ITF World Heavyweight Champion, takes down Billy Bowers with the Russian leg sweep. Don't forget, after this matchup, Undisputed Tag Team Championship match, Egyptico, Marcus Matrix, Dale Von Deuce, Undisputed Tag, also main event after that, Joe Omega, Extreme Tony, Undisputed Championship, only one man to be the Undisputed Champion, and all of Maker Extreme Tony, a former multi-time world champion in CAW, XGWL, New WWE, NAW, damn it, Extreme Tony's been there and done it. Joe Omega, former World Heavyweight Champion, OPW, NAW, NAEW on two different occasions. That's going to be an honest minute championship match that you cannot miss. El Noveno gets the tag. Gideon Pilgrim, the two legal men in this matchup. Gideon Pilgrim, the only man wearing much color in this match, I will say. You get the yellow and the purple. Noveno wearing the yellow, Gideon Pilgrim wearing a little bit of purple. All these men wearing a lot of black in this matchup. Whoa! Power Gideon Pilgrim, and he has lost a step. And I know a lot of the fans probably watching at home in the crowd not familiar with the jam session. You had to be up. You had to be watching ITF in 2015 to catch these guys. It's been what six years, like I said, since the jam session have been around. And again, there might be a little bit of ring rust. Big face buster right there by El Noveno. Drops him with like a flatlining, like a jumping flatliner. Now stomping away in the knee of Gideon Pilgrim. I think El Noveno knows that they're getting nailed that girl press slam that. He needs to work over Gideon Pilgrim's limbs because he doesn't want to give a man that, give a man that much power. Now the Obano German suplex. Very smart tag team work too, right to his own corner. Very smart tag team action. Now the now with a cover on a Gideon Pilgrim. One, two, Pilgrim kicks out at two. And like I said, you cannot, Jam Session might have a lot of ring rust, and you cannot discredit them for, for that because they have, they, they have wanted to step in this ring. So they know what they are signing up for. So they, they know that they need to be prepared for this action. This match has been announced a week ahead of time. They, and these men signed a contract two weeks ago, three weeks ago when Honestly Wrestling started. So these guys know that, that they were going to be here and compete in this matchup. So you guys say nothing against the Jam Session other than maybe possibly ring rust. Give them no excuses out in the ring, Russ. Jared Forsythe, the legal man in this matchup now against El Noveno. Jeremy Forsythe. Oh, gets reversed, El Noveno. Fireman's carry. Takes him down. And then a big neck breaker. Really knocks him down with that neck breaker. Big impactful neck breaker tags in Billy Bowers, the pain master. 
Billy Bowers got planned here. Billy Bowers and Irish whip on the on a Jer Forsyth. Big back elbow spins out of it. That was an impact. Both these men wearing similar hairstyles. Rocking similar hairstyles, I should say. That long black hair. I would say Jer Forsyth, because he lives in Florida, has a little bit more of a tan than Billy Bowers. It's a lot more of that Florida sun. Michinoku driver by Billy Bowers takes down Jared Forsythe though, and this could very well be it, everybody. Covered by Billy Bowers on the Jared Forsythe. Getting a pilgrim, trying to get, trying to get, communicate with his partner, telling him to kick out. He does, and two. Jared Forsythe trying to fight back, gets down with a jawbreaker now by Billy Bowers. Now, I'm gonna tell you, Billy Bowers and Ella will probably have the advantage. They've been wrestling a lot longer as a team lately in the jam session. You know, the jam session for TV longer technically than, than Al Movano and Billy Bowers, Brave and Death. Al Movano now, what's he got planned for Jared Forsythe? The first ever time these two men are even locking up other than earlier. First ever time any of these teams are locking up with each other. Jam session and Brave and Death. To go Honest Food Wrestling 2 brings to you, Honest Food Wrestling this brings to you some of the greatest, some of the first ever in wrestling. Oh my God! Super butterfly overhead suplex by Elmo Vale. This could be it. One, two, and somehow Jer Forsythe kicks out once again. Gotta give the jam session credit. Gotta give Jer Forsythe credit. They're definitely kicking out. They're definitely showing a lot of resiliency in this matchup. Jer Forsythe somehow fights back and nails a backbreaker onto Elmo Vale. Tags in his partner Gideon. Gideon's always been known to be more of the rest of the, more of the in-ring star of the jam session. One of many a championships has Gideon Pilgrim. Raven Death now looking for a tag move. They're going for here. Double back body drop. Gideon Pilgrim went flying in the air there. That could be it. That very well could be it. One, two. Oh, and Gideon Pilgrim kicks out at two, surprisingly. He went flying in the air there. I thought that was it. It was Billy Bowers got playing here. Oh, Brain Buster. A huge Brain Buster on the Gideon Pilgrim now. But Gideon Pilgrim somehow fights back in with an arm drag when Billy Bowers is going for some kind of maneuver. Gideon Pilgrim now. Has Billy Bowers in a bad way, actually. What's he going to go for here? Gideon Pilgrim. Oh my god, gunsling and slam! One, two, go! Oh, and Billy Bowers just kicks out! Oh my god, just in the nick of time! I thought Gideon Pilgrim won this matchup for the jam session right there. Big kick out by Billy Bowers. Raven Death has another life here in this matchup. Unless Gideon Pilgrim has something big planned here for Billy Bowers and he does the top. Oh my god, top rope sidewalk slam! Devastating if there was actually a sidewalk under Billy Bowers. Billy Bowers desperately needs to make a tag to Elmo Bano. He's crawling to his corner. Jam session cuts him off though. Elmo Bano trying to fire up Billy Bowers, get back to his corner. Grab first suplex though by Jared Forsyth. Jam session now definitely got Billy Bowers in a bad way. Billy Bowers. Oh, gets nailed with a jumping flatliner. Maybe copying one for Elmo Bano earlier. Jared Forsyth, one, two. No, Bano breaks it up at two. Billy Bowers will be eating some punishment now in this tag team matchup. Jam session looking really good against Braven Death right now. Oh, Billy Bowers, a huge knee, feet, head, skulls, and a knee. And, 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 and Jared Forsyth might be down and out. One, two. Then knocked out Forsyth. Then knocked out Forsyth. Billy Bowers in Elmo Bano. What a tag team matchup. And Jared Forsythe just got knocked out with a huge dark knee. That painful knee. Can't believe this tag team action here. Jam session looks really good. But it was this knee to the face as you see it just took out Jared Forsythe. Billy Bowers with that huge knee. El Novano says cover him, we got him knocked out. Gideon Pilgrim realizes the situation he's in, but it's a little too late. Jam session gets put down for the three by Braven Death. 
Billy Bowers, El Novano, victorious here on Undisputed Wrestling 2. I'm sure they're going to be looking at the Undisputed Tag Team Championship matchup, which is about to happen next. Undisputed Wrestling Tag Team Championship about to be crowned right now. As Dale Von Deuce, Marcus Matrix, the Hollywood Canadian Connection makes their way down the ring right now. We see Marcus Matrix and Dale Von Deuce last week as Marcus Matrix was victorious against Nate Farron. These two men, former UNAW Eastern Tag Team Champions on three different occasions. The very last UNAW Eastern Tag Team Champions. These men are a great tag team as Dale Von Deuce and Marcus Matrix. But they're about to take on former ITF Tag Team Champions and Amir Barnes and Silver Prince. These two men are also former North American League Wrestling Maple Leaf Tag Team Champions. So these men are also no strangers to Tag Team Gold. Amir Barnes from Egypt, Silver Prince from Guatemala, New Mexico. Guatemala, Mexico. The tag team of Egyptico, Silver Prince Amir Barnes. These two have known each other and have been teaming for the better part of six years. Yes, six years on and off has Amir Barnes and Silver Prince been teaming together. Amir Barnes is a former New WWE Universal Heavyweight Champion. Silver Prince, I believe is a former World Call Wrestling Tag Team Champion, if I remember correctly. So these two men are also, all four of these men are very, no strangers to holding Tag Team Gold. As you see, the referee, Lee Todd, holding up the Undisputed Tag Team Championship, Hollywood Canadian Connection, Egypt to go. Marcus Matrix and Mira Barnes, the two men respectively to start off this matchup for their team. Marcus Matrix, big suplex on Amir Barnes to start off this contest. Marcus Matrix now picks up Amir Barnes. Michinoku Driver right away on Amir Barnes. Marcus Matrix, he has been a house of fire in CAW last year. The undefeated junior weight champion in North American Elite Wrestling. STO, Marcus Matrix bringing the fight to Amir Barnes right now. And then, oh, that kneecap, cr that, that kneecap crusher right there. Trying to crush the kneecap of Amir Barnes. Marcus Matrix has Amir Barnes reeling in the first opening minute of this contest. And you, would not, you would not expect this, but Marcus Matrix is bringing the fight to Amir Barnes and knocks him down with a sling blade. Don't let Amir Barnes stature fool you guys. This man is very powerful. He'll rip you apart. All muscle, 240 pounds is Amir Barnes. Weighs more than Marcus Matrix. Tags in Silver Prince. Silver Prince and Marcus Matrix, two legal men now. Silver Prince eats a forearm of Marcus Matrix. He's knocked down Matrix. Now attacking the back of Silver Prince while he's on the mat. Marcus Matrix, shining wizard right there. Very impressive view. Ooh, Marcus Matrix actually doing a great job in his opening parts of this contest against both Silver Prince and Amir Barnes. But well, Matrix might be getting a little worn out here because Silver Prince now has the better of Matrix. Now some of the suplex. The real this Marcus Matrix. Legal tag right there made. Amir Barnes now back in the ring. Referee signals a tag. I think you all see the tag ref. Mayor Barnes now with three big shots in the rip cage of Marcus Matrix. And Matrix, August now with a suplex. Now Mayor Barnes and Silver Prince able to stop Marcus Matrix's momentum. And Matrix came out of this, out, out of this opening contest like a house of fire. Now he's down on the ring mat. This is not where you want to be against a man like Amir Barnes. Matrix knows that, fights up to his feet. Big uppercut on Amir Barnes. And goes for that Michinoku driver once again. Nails it on Amir Barnes. 
Vargas Matrix now with a cover. One, two, and kicks out at two, does a mirror Barnes. This is for the undisputed tag team championship. Let's not forget. Dale Von Deuce gets the tag. Amir Barnes, Dale Von Deuce, the two legal men in this matchup. And Egypt versus Canada right here in this situation. And Egypt gets the better of it, the tags in Mexico. And Amir Barnes tags in Silver Prince. Four countries represented here. Canada, America, Mexico, Egypt. All of this one tag team matchup here. Some of the greatest talent of Undisputed Wrestling. Silver Prince now working over Dale Von Deuce. Main event, Joe Omega, Extreme Tony for the Honest New Championship after this one. That will be a barn burner. Silver Prince has Dale Von Deuce in a bad way here. Silver Prince now with a big knee to the ribcage. Another knee to the ribcage. Silver Prince working over Dale Von Deuce with three big knees to the ribcage. And Silver Prince now judo tossing Dale Von Deuce down to the ring mat. And now a gut wrench suplex. And if Amir Barnes wanted to, he definitely could be challenging for the World Championship in a situation like this. But instead, him and Silver Prince have been on a roll in a tag team action lately. Look at a tag team championship. Who went right here? Oh my God, almost won the tag team championship. The referee's hand almost came down for three. But no, Dale Von Deuce got his hand on the rope. What, what a what veteran ring experience for Dale Von Deuce. And I've known Dale Von Deuce for over nine years now. Dale Von Deuce isn't waiting for an opportunity like this. Returns the favor, drops the silver prints on his neck with a pile driver. Now goes for it, cover his own one. And silver prints kicks out just a light two count. Already even been one. The referee didn't see what happened there. Dale Von Deuce continues the offense, though, very smartly with a Russian leg sweep. Someone maybe call that Canadian leg sweep. Canadian whip. <laughs> Canadian whip now. Irish whip, whatever you want to call it. Hollywood Canadian Connection going for a big move here. Oh, my God. Platt Silver Prince down. Platt Silver Prince down. We can get on this big touch and take it. Matrix trying to 
while Amir Barnes and the Silver Prince have just became the very first ever Undisputed Wrestling Tag Team Champions. What a tag team matchup. As you can see, not once, but twice did they go for this huge tag team move with the Hollywood Canadian Connection. Both men from both angles, both men trying it from their own way. It wasn't enough. The Pharaoh's Curse overhead suplex almost breaks Martin Matrix's neck. I don't know how his neck isn't broken. Silver Prince, Amir Barnes, and Jiffico have just won the Undisputed Wrestling Tag Team Championship. As they are the very first ever Undisputed Wrestling Tag Team Champions. Amir Barnes spiked Marcus Matrix in the ring mat. I am surprised Matrix was able to even get up after that one. But he did. Amir Barnes, Silver Prince are now your Undisputed Wrestling Tag Team Champions. And we have to move on to the main event. Extreme Tony, Joe Omega, Undisputed Championship match coming your way right now. Undisputed Championship, Undisputed Wrestling, Joe Omega, Extreme Tony. And I am just going to go on the record right now and say that I am very proud of Joe Omega for being here tonight. Joe Omega has lost his father last week. And that is just a horrible, devastating thing that could happen to anybody. And Joe Omega is beyond that happening. He is somehow here tonight, here competing for the Undisputed Championship, cheerleading the Bulldog, the British Bulldog, wearing his home country's colors. He just said that it all felt right tonight. Joe Omega, I feel for you, man. I feel for you. It's never easy to lose a parent. I don't have my mom. I can only imagine the pain and, and uh, the pain that Joe Omega is suffering mentally right now. And to put that all away to compete against Extreme 20 for the Undisputed Championship here and the main event of UW2. It's going to be really hard for Joe Omega. Joe Omega, Extreme Tony, Undisputed Championship matchup. And Joe Omega wearing his home country's colors, tributing the British Bulldog. That's what Joe Omega wanted to do here tonight. So he wanted to do an Undisputed Wrestling. Joe Omega, this is for the Undisputed Championship. I have watched Joe Omega win the 2012 NAW cost search. I have watched Joe Omega win championship after championship until he was finally World Heavyweight Champion. I have seen Joe Omega climb, nail, bite, fight. Never, never Joe Omega had to do to become on top of the goddamn CAW call world than he is now. And only one man is stopping him. And that's a man who's been on top of the CAW world for 15 plus years. And that is the playmaker Extreme Tony. And Extreme Tony Joe Omega right here tonight is going to crown. It's going to happen to crown the very first ever Undisputed Champion. And I couldn't think of a more prolific match that this, this, this company could have than Extreme Tony Joe Omega one on one for the Undisputed Wrestling Heavyweight Championship of the world. The Undisputed Champion. The last NAW champion, the last North American League Wrestling Champion, the World Heavyweight Championship match, the Undisputed Championship match that the call world has been dying to see since it has been announced three, four weeks ago. Extreme Tony, Joe Omega, Undisputed Championship match. Undisputed Championship match. The Todd raises the Undisputed Wrestling Championship here in Undisputed Wrestling. Joe Omega, Extreme Tony, and this match is officially underway. Extreme Tony, the heavier the two athletes, maybe the power athlete too that you get a clean break between Joe Omega and Extreme Tony and like I said there's gotta be a lot weighing on the mind of Joe Omega here tonight I don't even know if Joe Omega realized it but he hasn't even taken off his ring coat or maybe he means
to leave it on. I don't know. I'm not going to question Joe Omega here tonight. Joe Omega now on the offense. Gets a knee. But Extreme Tony knocks him right back down. This is for the Undisputed Championship. Extreme Tony versus Joe Omega. Between these two men, over 25 years experience in CAW combined. That's a whole lot of decorated CAW superstars. A whole lot of years spent online with two guys, referees down in the open. First time tonight, I believe the referees down. Not, not going to be any factor though, other than Joe Omega has a cover. Wait a second there. Hey, I don't know. Maybe that wasn't going to be a three, but the referee sure wasn't there in time. Joe Omega not letting him affect him though. Undisputed championship on the line here. series reversed by these two men. Undisputed Championship. This is the main event of Undisputed Wrestling 2. I thank you all for being here. Joe Omega with a nice suplex. I'd love to hear some predictions in the chat right now. Who do you think is going to become the first ever Undisputed Champion here in Undisputed Wrestling? Joe Omega with a huge back body drop. Joe Omega now off the top rope. Misses. Extreme Tony now with a big form shot to the back. Don't forget, UW3, we're at Crown, the very first ever women's champion in a eight man and eight ladies women's tournament, a tournament. At the very next event. Extreme Tony going for a power slam. Joe Omega able to reverse into a reverse DDT. And a lot of people think that Joe Omega is at a disadvantage going into this one. Father, a lot of people predicting Extreme Tony to walk out of this match as the very first ever Undisputed Champion here in Undisputed Wrestling. And Joe Omega with a huge boot to Extreme Tony though. And Joe Omega can win this match right here after that boot. Tony is down. And Extreme Tony gets a shoulder up, pops that shoulder off the ring hat, only gets two. Joe Omega can't believe it. And Joe Omega now. Oh, rip breaker on Extreme Tony. Back of the head. Joe Omega. Oh, wait a second. Extreme Tony. Connick Joe Omega with the legs. Takes him down. Going for a sharpshooter. This is one of Extreme Tony's finishing maneuvers. The sharpshooter. And Joe Omega rolls out of it. Very smart. I haven't seen a. That's a very smart reversal. I haven't seen a, a reversal of a sharpshooter like that in a very long time. Joe Omega. Very smart now. Outside of the ring, these two men are. Omega tosses Extreme Tony to the outside, I should say. Referee starting his count, and this is the main event. Could you imagine this match ends by count off? That would be sad. That would be tragic. Joe Omega in this World Heavyweight Championship match has Extreme Tony on the ring barrier. What's he going to go for here? What's he going to go into the ring apron? Joe Omega, what's he going for here? What's Joe Omega going for here? Joe Omega! Oh my God, the UK! Oh my God!
Taylor Swift now, Extreme Tony, Wicked Over Joe Omega. Oh, and what a spear into the turnbuckle right there. Extreme Tony now stomping away on Omega. Extreme Tony yelling, Playmaker. Extreme Tony now has the crowd on his behind him. You all know what that crowd does, the support it does for Extreme Tony. It gives him a whole nother, a whole nother level that, that you can't even match. And he's on that level right now. Joe Omega is in a bad way against Extreme Tony right now. The crowd's behind Tony. The crowd's behind Tony. Extreme Tony, oh my God, with that charger strike. Extreme Tony has Joe Omega down. He has Joe Omega down. One, two. Then Omega kicks out. Omega kicks out of Extreme Tony's charger strike. Extreme Tony can't even believe it now. Frustration's getting the better of Extreme Tony here. This is for the Undisputed Championship, everybody. This is for the Undisputed Championship. And Joe Omega now trying to fight Extreme Tony back. What a match. What a match. Neither of these men will have anything to be ashamed of if they lose. And what's Joe Omega doing here? What's Joe Omega doing here? Oh my God, Joe Omega. No, 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 no. Thank you all for being here. Good fight.